Ara, ara. Vroom, vroom. Wow. Wow. Hello, chat. Hola. Buddha, thank you for the resub. And thank you for 19 months of support. Thank you. Thank you. You guys can hear me, right? Hello. Hello. Hello, Neko. How are you? How is everybody this fine, fine Sunday? I 
It's amazing. It's Sunday. I have, I have, I, I've experienced a lot in the singular day. Wow, this music's really loud in my head. Hold on. I'm awake. That's good. That's always a plus, I believe. Anzus. It's like anals, but with an N. Wait, no, anals has an N. Anzax. A U? Actually, though, no, I don't want to talk about the Pokemon. Ara, Ara. To... So cursed. 13 months, let's go less than three. Hey, Frank, thank you for the resub and the nine month streak. The nine month streak, thank you, thank you. Hello, Commissar. Hello, Arcus. Um, not the Pokemon new. Hey, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know the nitty gritty details. Um, it's trending on Twitter, though, I think. Unfortunately, I just had to go get the mail from next door in the rain because Amazon drivers can't read. Nice! Actually, I think I was waiting for some packages, but I don't know. Um, there's, there's been, so for those who don't know, again, I don't know the nitty gritty details. I'm just telling you what I do know. Um, I said we were going to ignore its existence, and here we are not ignoring its existence. Thanks, Arcus. Thank you, Arcus. Um. Oh, God. So there was, there's been a leak at Nintendo. There's been a leaky faucet. Um, someone who, who was very quickly very quickly was confirmed actually worked for nintendo you can't mention not expected to be brought up especially questions i'm going to talk about pokemon my my local post office got some amazon lockers oh nice um so there was a leak at pokemon i think people are calling it the giga leak which actually sounds really cool um by an employee who was confirmed to be an employee at nintendo i don't know how I don't know if, like, the actual leak itself was confirmed to be, like, legit, but I don't, you know, you know how the internet works. They do not care. Um, and by the looks of a lot of it that I've seen, the stuff that's been getting posted around the internet, um, it seems to be people's ideas that they were, like, spitballing on at the beginning of the concept of, like, you know, a new game and stuff. So, uh... It feels like only the terrible ideas are the ones that are getting attention. Um, for example, um, the one I unfortunately had the displeasure of reading before a stream that I was trying to avoid but ended up accidentally reading it. And then I was like reading it. And I'm like, well, I'm halfway through it. I might as well finish it. But... Before, it was, like, Pokemon's original sin. Like, the world of Pokemon's version of their original sin. So you can imagine where this is going. It's the original one. Um. But basically, this woman and her friends beat up. I don't remember which Pokemon it was. It was a fourth gen Pokemon, I believe. I don't know the fourth gens very well. Um, but they would beat up these Pokemon right on my head to bed. Yeah, run small while you can. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Um, so they would uh, torture and beat up these Pokemon and kill them. Make them dead. And uh, she got separated from the group or something and got beat up by one of the Pokemon. And then got drugged and passed out. And then got drugged to like this lake where she realized that like all the Pokemon that her 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 and her friends unalived, you know, were hanging from the trees. <gasps> no, my head's so stung. Uh they were hanging from the trees and the other Pokemon had hung them there and they're throwing the bodies into the lake and blah 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 blah. And then this really big one came. And a slacking. It was a slacking. This really big slacking came. And then she freaked out and passed out again. And then nine months later, she had a Pokemon baby. So I'm sure we can figure out what happened. Um, 
there and she had it was the I don't know the first form of slacking I'm not this is all the internet this is Nintendo shit like this this is released from Nintendo it's on Twitter go look it up it's out there I'm not making this shit up I can read one to you I hope I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get hit with TOS but but basically she gave birth to the first form of slacking um and then her friends killed it and basically she started crying and then like ran to the lake with the dead baby slacking and like threw herself into the lake with the slacking and they both you know were dead so that yeah well the problem is is there's there's many of them that's just one there's and uh, there's a bunch of them like there's one um the one i just found another one um with an octillery octillery um and the man uses it as a flashlight pokemon developer game freak reportedly hacked stolen data on unannounced games as well as nintendo code name leaked online oh my god it's making music stop it Ayo. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to show you guys my Yu-Gi-Oh's. That was a plan for today. Holy shit. Oh, no. I didn't prep for that at all. I can prep for that. No, I can't. Is my phone dead? Guys. I My camera is dead. And my, I can't plug it in because my headset's also dead. <laughs> I forgot. I can do it a different day. Tell you what, I'll do it at the start. Do you guys want me to push it back till next Bruh. time? I'm sorry. Guys, you don't understand what kind of day I've had. It was not a normal day. Yeah, you got yard rabbits, some carrots. I was dealing with this Pokemon nonsense I had to experience. And then I had a friend come over with her child, which normally, I like I don't mind children. Right? I don't mind them. I like kids. And kids like ramen. So, like, it's okay if she brings her kids over. You know, I'm just hanging out and the kids playing with ramen. And ramen hates it, but he's a good cat. And he just puts up with it and gives me the most intense death glare I've ever gotten from another animal in my entire life. Right? And, uh... And, and, and everything's fine. And we're, like, hanging out and talking. And, and, and then she goes home with the child... And, uh, no, I did not show the children the Pokemon leaks, you absolute freak. Um, and then a couple of hours later, she texts me and goes, hey, that's super weird. Like, my kid has a 102 degree fever and is coughing a lot all of a sudden. That's wild. Like, maybe she's allergic to the cat. So I had to tear apart my house and sanitize everything in hopes I don't get sick. So that has been my day. So I apologize. I can try. I'm trying to think if I can find another charger. If I can find another charging cable, I can charge. And I constantly go, V, what the fuck? I know, right? It's rough. If I can find another charger, maybe. No, because I need the light. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I was not prepped for this. That's my bad. I prepped other stuff for this. That wasn't, that wasn't the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I'm sorry. My my phone battery. I would if I had more battery on my phone because that's what I use for my camera. I would wing it and just see what happened. But um, there's not. I mean, we get like five minutes in and the camera would die. We can do it a different day though. We can plan it for next Sunday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm not playing a spooky game today. So this Pokemon thing is like Disney's porn closet, like all the loot drawn by official Disney artists technically contractually belongs to Disney. I don't know. I don't, that's the thing is like people's just posting like the weird stuff. They're not posting the context to it. No, I want Yu-Gi-Oh now. Jabated. My bad. I'm sorry. We will be playing Little Nightmares 2 though. On Tuesday. So that's fun. 
I would say we could do the Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Tuesday, but I feel like half of you would miss it, and I think that would make you guys sad. Unless you want to do them on Tuesday before Little Nightmares. I'm okay doing that. But I feel like half of you can't make it. No. Okay, well, Buddha said no, so I'm going to do it now. I want it on a Sunday. I like this time for streams. <laughs> ah. All right. She hates us. I'm on my way to work at 10. You guys. Okay, then we'll do it next Sunday, okay? I promise. Oh, Little Nightmares 2 is 30 bucks. Ouchies. That's rough. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to see collection while I'm at work. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. It's fine. I can do it next Sunday. Alright, I will. So what's the plan? Oh, for today? Well, I was gonna I was gonna talk about the Pokemon thing for a little bit. And then I was gonna show you guys this guy's armpits. Um, I was gonna watch, I was gonna show you guys a halberd battle and a man's armpit. Um, and then other than that, just kind of hang out and talk about stuff and life and stuff. I had a really long day. I was doing way too much. I like I'm exhausted. I slept like shit last night. It's been a rough day. Like not a bad day. I shouldn't say it like that. It's not like a bad day. I got a lot done that I needed to get done. <laughs> Can you watch funny 40k videos? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, that's such a good video. Yeah, we can watch that one after two. That one's so funny. I don't know if we'll watch this whole uh, Halberd video because it's 17 minutes long and it gets kind of boring at the end because they're very tired. But we'll watch it in a little bit. I wanted to chat more about the Pokemon thing. I mean, I didn't, but I did. But yeah, so... Dread X Collection 5 is $10. But that's not Little Nightmares 2. What's that called again? The actual MMA thing with armor? It's called AMMA. <laughs> it's for reverse thrusting? Oh, I didn't know that. Now, I will say that one guy has an axe. And one guy has... No, nah, this isn't... I don't think I would call this HEMA. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert, right? Um, but I don't think any of this was really like historical, like in con, you know, in contact, like, like, I don't know if they're using like historical move sets. You know what I mean? I'm looking forward to farming simulator 25. That's coming out in a month. Amazing. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta do something quick. Ah. Did he respond to that or am I just stupid? Oh, I am just stupid. Okay. Oh no, you just. Okay. I'm like, great. I'm just a dummy. Okay, hold on a minute. I gotta do something very important. Oh no, no, mobile. Gross. Well, that was him. It's a stick with metal at the end. Not hard to figure. No, no, no. Okay, so one guy's using, like, an axe, and then the other guy's using, like, a halberd-ish type weapon, I guess, like, because obviously they're not using sharp instruments, right? They're using blunted instruments because they don't actually want to kill anybody. Um, yeah. So, only one of them's a halberd. They're going to have to have the fight. Yeah, but, well, if you guys would rather watch that than talk about Pokemon, I'm okay with that. So we can do that. <laughs> Look, there it is. I, no, I, I don't know. It's, don't, don't nerd. I'm not, I'm not a weapons nerd, okay? I'm not Centuri Chan. Give me, give me a break. Give me a break. 
So apparently this fight was really important because um I don't know if you guys I don't think you guys can hear it. Hold on a minute. Um um because this was their first like axe fight that they've had in this type of situation. Normally it's like sword and board, so that's why this one's so important. So I'm gonna turn the music off. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna mock the announcers for a while while they uh while they talk. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, so they're like in a cage. I'll turn down a little bit. These announcers, not the not the guy like yelling announcing them, but like the, the people talking are so boring. This is uh Bill Murray, age thirty five from accounting. Can you make the video bigger? Nope. I cannot. <laughs> I don't want to get hit for copyright, so nope, I cannot. Like, this is so dramatic. They have these big walk-ups. These guys are in full plate. It's so dramatic. And then these dancers are like, yeah, this is uh, the third time that he's fought in the arena here. And it's uh, it's very nice that he's um, doing that, you know. We're glad he's here. You lie. I don't know. No, I said one guy had an axe and one guy had a halberd. That's not a bill hook. All right, now this guy's intense. This guy's entrance is very intense. Why are these announcers so boring? They sound tired. Give them a monster energy. No, give them a rogue energy so they can use the code CLUCKER at checkout for 10% off. Look at these nerds, dude. Look at them. They both work in accounting, you can tell. All right, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. Did we miss it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an important part coming up. Okay, okay, wait for it. Ah! There it is. There it is. Hold on, hold on. I think he lifts it higher. I don't know why he's not wearing anything underneath his armpit, but... Here it is. Here it is. Prepare yourselves. Yes! Yes, chat. Here we go. Here we go, chat. This is what it's all about. This is why you're here. This right here is why you're here. This. See, I told you I can make it bigger for you. Look at that. Look at that. Absolute armpit, man. Where is North when you need him? Tell him there's an armpit on stream. Nah, dude. Nah, look at that. He's not even wearing a shirt. He's got nothing. He's going, he's raw dogging. Raw dogging that armpit, dude. Furry ass armpit. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> I saw that when I was watching this. And I'm like, what is that? Just a straight up armpit, dude. What? Who does that? Who just does the armpit like that, man? It's just out. It's just out there. Being an armpit. It's just out, out there. Oops, I didn't want to clip it. There you go. Man, look at that thing. Look at that. He could, yeah, he could have something. Well, it looks like he does have a gambeson, but it ripped. Like right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. Yeah, now you can. Like right here. Like it, it looks all ripped. I want enough loose cash one day. I can order full of cinnabar. I gotta imagine these are entirely expensive. I have seen Gambsons rot in less than a year on some guys. They just have acidic sweat or something. That's so gross. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh, rotting pits. Okay, this guy's name is Rotten Pits. This is IT department. Oh my god. The bow. See, his armpits aren't out. 
He doesn't have the pits out. It's not even a sun's out, guns out moment because it's just a, it's just the pits. And they got the Joker right here. We got the, we got the, the, with a little stick, which he does use, by the way. The stick does get used. Okay, so. I don't know if we're going to watch the whole fight. You see my training shirts when I was training at MMA gym. Those were pungent. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Let's go! He's got the stick! There is one or two good hits at the end, though, that were like, BAM! He came out swinging. IT department came out swinging. They're allowed to curse, guys. It's okay. Gambus and Unity last me 10 years, but I get decent linen one from a lady at the local SCA that makes them to order. Oh, wow, that's cool. Going for the knees. Going for the knees. I would be like on the ground by now crying. I'd be like just so tired. Does V have Gambison? I do not have a Gambison. I would love a Gambison. I think they look amazing. I would just wear it like unironically all the time in like my pumpkin spice latte and a Gambison. Uh, okay, so this guy's like hand got locked up. His uh, grief? Grief? Gauntlet. Gauntlet. It got locked up. So he, so it was cool because this guy waited for him to fix his... Oh, boom! I would just be... I would Like, if it were me, I'd just be, like, nailing the knee over and over. Like, one knee just over and over again. I do not have a coif either, no. I wonder if there's a rule against striking the same, like, limb over and over, though. New, th new throne idea? Absolute armpit! I do be lacking in the armor. It's true. It's true. I would... Yeah. I'd wear a coif, too. I kind of have a coif. It's got a hood on it. Does that count as a coif? It's not this big either, though. It's smaller. It's more like a scarf connected to a hood. Does that count? Get him! Get him! Hit him! Yeah, so that was, like, the both thing, like, they, so this was their first match where, like, they were both using long, long weapons like this. Oh, the stick comes in. The stick comes in, guys. He gets a cute girl in the volleyball shorts, and he gets this big, burly, bearded man. What's up with that? He, he had that plant. He had that spit. No, 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 okay, unironically, though, unironically, this guy had that spin move planned. He had it planned. He knew he was opening with that. He practiced that. Like, that was, like, his Chunibio moment. Look at that. Watch this guy. That spin was planned. There was nothing, there was nothing anyone could do that would stop him from doing that spin <laughs> at the start of the match. Just chicken hard to fly at all. That's fair. Defense through mobility. Extra force behind that spin. That's true. He nailed it. It would have been really embarrassing if he missed or got like nailed before it landed. Look at it's Jason Malmoa who's and then Paul Bart, Mall Cop. Jason Mimosa. Yeah. Yeah, it is Jason Mimosa. Oh, he got some titty. <laughs> he got some boobage on him. All right. I can just skip through this part. There's talking. All right. Stickman. Charge! Okay. Now, this guy swapped. He's got an axe now, too. He gave up on the, the little fake halberd. Oh. There were some good throws, too. There's throws coming up. Now they're just punching. I wonder how loud it is in the helmet. That's always my thing. Is it just like, bang, bang, bang. 
Like, I've never, I, I, I once had a friend who put a bucket on their head, and I thought that would be a good time to hit it with a stick. So, and they, they fell down and were, like, temporarily, like, jolted. Jolt? Like, shocked. I've taken a spinning heel kick to the stomach. It hurts so much worse than the regular one. Oh, no. Did they pad the helmet or are they in before? I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's padded. Yeah, I think I see some, like, padding. I don't know. They don't show the inside of the helmet. I have, uh, yeah, no, I could tell you guys some stories. The bucket has room to resonate. I assume the helmets are full of soft stuff. You assume. This guy's got tons of dents on his helmet, though. Wings. Get it. Yeah. yeah, see, that was a good one. Oh, oh, and the ding -a -ling. Bye bye, armpit man. Oh, by the way, trigger warning there will be blood. Boom. God, I wonder how much these guys weigh with the armor on. It's gotta be like one of those guys weighs like 200 pounds, I think. So to like drop that with like what? How much does armor normally weigh? 70 pounds? Less than that? 40? I don't know how much armor weighs. I have no idea. Never saw the guys working out in armor V. No, I've never seen the guys working out in armor. What? But 60 to 80 pounds. Yeah, see? So that's rough. How does the grass taste, little man? Stop! Oh, stick! 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 Guys, the stick guy... The stick guy's involved. You gotta sit down. Alright, the chairs are back out. Do, 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 do. They're gonna show... They don't remove their helmets between matches. Yeah, you can see a little... Little... Little something something going on in that helmet. It's like when you see the firefighters. Oh, that's true. Sometimes fights have prohibited areas to hit the head or the crotch. The guys working out... I've never seen guys working out in armor. Why is this not a thing that's been brought to my attention before? All right, we're back to the match. All right, this is the last round. There's only three rounds. <laughs> Look it up after this. Is it? Are their hips covered? Because if their hips aren't covered, I don't think I can show it on this platform. Their hips have to be covered. <laughs> It's full armor? Okay. <laughs> oh, they're not shirtless. Yeah, look at that pit. The pit. Like a little sniffer. So I had a display where a guy ran an army obstacle course in full armor. Holy shit, that's crazy. That is intense. I would never... Well, I mean... I would never do that! Like, that's actually saying something. Okay, I will check it out next. See, he's got his pits are covered. They're tired. There we go. They're so tired. Oh! I watched this already. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know what I'm doing, and yet. Now they take now. Oh, oh, they have like football armor underneath. That's not like. They have, like, football armor. So I don't think they have plate underneath their uh, tabard. That looks like football armor. Like padding? Chain sucks to move in, but plate is fairly comfortable if it's fitted properly. Just dump some gifts in the meat hall. All right. Boom. Bro, he's going to get that armpit clip, dude. He's going to get a shave. Uh... Homeboy. Oh! Give me the dingling. Get him in the dingling. <laughs> oh, chicken heart can't take it. Oh my god. I like it. Why do all of you guys know about the the video? The brutality. 
He keeps bowing. Oh. His grieve shifted on top of his knee. All right, come on. Ten seconds. Oh, boink. They do big boinks. Dude, you could totally get like an axe blade in the into those slits on his face. You could totally do that. Man, armpit ended that with a hug. He wrapped that up with a hug. Yeah, look at <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a real injury. All right. All right, chat. Since you guys are the experts, who do you think wins? Armpit or IT department? I want to know your thoughts. Armor becomes a second string. That's the point of training in it. I mean, that makes sense. IT, IT, IT wins in the long run. He's got a day job. Well, no. <laughs> Armpit is the winner no matter what. All right, all right, all right. They're chit chatting. Lots of okay. All right, guys, find out. Let's find out. He looks so much smaller now with his helmet off. Hey, it wins! Oh my god, if washing that, oh. It makes sense. He had armpit on the ropes most of that. Armpit had a couple good uh had a couple good swings and stuff, but oh my god, don't look at my stuff. Probably why they cut the armpits out. Armpit should have yanked the leg with the axe. There I I have a feeling he can't do that. I'm guessing, which is why he didn't do it. Which isn't Kingsley, and he doesn't wash his armpit blows. His arming blows. His armpit blows. All right, let me see. Oh, I see them. Okay, hold on. Obstacle, run, and armor. Perfect. All right, hold on. Otter, 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 otter. Okay, tube. Okay, hold on. Oh, I got so loud. I don't want you guys to see my recipe folder, okay? Have to hide that. And has the grossest arming blast. You mean he could, like, wash it easily and replace it? Grab his armpit hair and twist it. Yeah, see, that's what I would have done. Recipes for food. Oh, I love this song. None of these are in English. Fan schwa. Oh, he's got, he's got a, uh, uh, oh my god. Someone recorded this and edited this. It's a, wow, that armor's so cool. That armor's so cool. They all have cool armor. What the fuck? No way. No way. Nope. That looks so hot. Oh my god, the guy in the elliptical. Amazing. No way. What the hell? His helmet is huge. Should I cosplay as like Centuri Chan's Land Shrek? I can't I don't know how to pronounce it. Land Shrek? Land Shrek. Dude, that guy's helmet is ridiculous. Bruh. Bruh. Land snack? Yeah. I'm gonna call them land snacks from now on. Oh, what a good spotter. Just making sure he does he does the work. I hate that. So like unironic so like I'll do that. Move at the gym sometimes. I hate it. I hate it so much. It hurts so bad. I hate it. Yeah, exactly. That's me. This I also hate doing. 
I would do that, but I don't have a friend to go to the gym with. I would just be me throwing it off into the middle of the gym. And I don't have the confidence to do free weights. Because what if I do something... Oh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, no, he's tired. Get the man some water. <laughs> I just said I can do it. I just hate doing it. That helmet is ridiculous. How does he see? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that was funny. You probably don't. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, now let me find... There's one in Mead Hall. I saw it. I like how we're just watching videos now. This is not my plan for today, but this, ah, this is what we're doing. That's not it. That's the wrong thing. There you go. Caramel is for horsebacks, so you look forward. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Frogmouth helmets have enough visibility to be viable. Dang. He runs on instinct. Ultra instinct. Alright, right. I don't need this. I don't need this. Ba, 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 ba. I don't care about that. Oh, it's so loud. So loud in my ear. Are these British people? They look British. Fair enough. Significantly heavier. Kilograms really don't mean much to me, but it's okay. Oh, so like, wow, the military pack is heavier. That's crazy. Go, go, go. Oh, the fire furry man's kicking ass. It's all clouds. What is this run? Did you, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see his run? Hold up. Hold up. Watch, watch down here. Watch down here. Watch his run. What is that run? Look, look at it. What is that? He's not using his hips. It's just his knees. Just double it for pounds, roughly. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, man. The firefighter's winning, dude. He's not a proper athlete. Is that why he doesn't use his hips? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why is he not using- What is- Who runs like that? Who runs like that? Oh, dang. The army guy got over that like nothing. This poor man it doesn't have any hips. Oh, he's zooming, though. It's working for him on the balance beam. I'm- Like, the firefighter's, like, using his full body to locomote himself forward. Oh, no. Firefighter's getting tired. This is where the army guy shines. It's his endurance. Them trying to get into the, uh, the jack-in-the-box before they close. Maybe he has his pants full. Well, hey, you know, plus plus three seconds on the time with no hips is pretty good, guys. Okay, now they're wearing full gear. Full... F I feel like the army guy's going to be a lot slower now because his gear's the heaviest. And this guy has no hips. So we'll see if that helps him with the arm. Why is he running like that? Oh my god. Why is he running? Alright, I'm kind of rooting for the firefighter though, not gonna lie. Yeah, he's like, whatever. I think the thing that's gonna... At this point, the only thing that's gonna slow the army guy down is that the pack is so big he's gonna be bouncing into things. Look, no armored boots? Does he just have normal boots on? Yeah, he's just looking down. He's like, I'm just going forward. Everyone else is trying to look forward. It looks like a RuneScape character moving. Hello, souls! Oh, 
Oh, he's so tired. He's he's exhausted. Oh no, poor Armin man. His hips have failed him. Wait, just if your stretch what makes a difference. Heavy backpack throwing your balance off versus metal evenly distributed across your whole body. Yeah, that's true. Cause that that pack is flopping around. Wow, the firefighter's been firefighter has stuff like flying around though. No, I'm pretty sure this is Brit British or something. They're not they're not in the US. Cause they use kilograms. And I don't think it's Australia because there's grass. I don't know what Australian army uniforms look like. They're playing song Eye of the Spider, yeah. It's funny because if people watch this VOD on YouTube, there's not going to be any sound. Actually, if people watch this VOD at all, there's going to be no sound for any of... The like, they'll hear me, but they won't hear the video. Come on, firefighter man, you got this. You got this, firefighter man. You don't hear the video? Well, that's, your pro that's a you problem. Turn your turn your headset out, dude. Oh! He's just going over. Wow, the VOD stuff's really working well. Where are the weapon? Yeah. Wait, I forgot to look at his boots. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to look at his boots. Oh, he's got like tennis shoes on. Oh, he's got his shin guards. Bro, you're always maxed out on volume. What's that mean? No sabotage. That's what they're called. I found the volume is low. See, it's all my fault. Come on, firefighter man! Wow, firefighter one. Dang, I called it. Army man was last. I called it. I called it. I was expecting the firefighter to win. Well, that's not fair. The knight's way older than everyone else. No wonder he's running with no hips. He doesn't have them. They're literally gone. They're literally gone. All right. All right, you put another silly one. Mobility in plate armor. Armor. They've pink round down by... Stop it! Got titanium hips. You have to hand in your hips when you turn 50. It's true. You know what? Here, wait. Give me a minute. I'm going to do something so I don't have to keep doing this. There. Now you guys can't can't see my tabs. I can be looking at sussy. Be looking at sussy. <laughs> Pokemon stuff while we're watching videos and you guys would have no idea whatsoever What now? Hold on, I'll get this. I'll get this. Don't worry guys There you go Now the video is even smaller for you guys Is this actually funny? I have a feeling this isn't funny I just realized how dangerous it is that I'm just taking people's suggestions and playing them on stream. Whoa! Whoa! That was cool. Nerd. <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> Alright, uh, do something cool. Do something cool, nerd. No, we should not start looking up. Wow, I didn't know you could stand up that fast. Man. Jimmy. <laughs> 
That run though. Damn, that's crazy. These guys gotta be crazy strong. No horse is that tall. I'm just I'm just letting you know no war horse is that tall. <laughs> the cutaways, dude. Alright, yeah, you're boring. Hold on. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? No, you're not dancing. Just doing push ups. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Now you guys know what I look at. VTubers. <laughs> wow. Yeah, war horses are taller. That thing was like two feet off the ground. There's no way. There's no way that horse was that small. We got the same. No. Oh, Callie's streaming. I think I have mega strength to do some of that stuff. Man, that some of that stuff was crazy. Absolutely insane. Into the mind of V. It's literally VTuber brain rot. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think it is, but it's VTuber brain rot and art stuff. And nothing else. Now you know why the strength build is so OP in Elden Ring. That's why. Because that it's like legit night crap. You know what I mean? It's legit night stuff. It's it's because that's how... Oh, you know, I should turn the music back on. I was like, it's so quiet. It feels awkward now. I drank all my tea already. That's unfortunate. V is rotting. I'm girl rotting. I like... I like tried to girl rot today and then people wouldn't let me girl rot. And that's kind of why my day has been not... Not, I don't want to say it was bad. It's not a bad day. It just wasn't like my plan today. You know how that goes? Like you have a day and it's not a bad day, but it wasn't like how you planned it to be. So then like, you don't know how you feel about your day. You know what I mean? Hello, Bleach. You missed the armpit. You missed the armpit, dude. Bigger endurance and strength, some in focus. You'll be a real knight. It's true. Gotta go. Gotta get. Gotta go to the gym. Get those gains. I do not want to see a CEO's gross rotten shirt. Shockingly, sorry was EP. Well, now that Bleach is here, we can go back to talking about Pokemon. Guys, I only had two things to talk about. It was the Pokemon and it was the armpit. That's all I have. Bleach is probably wondering where the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are. They're not here right now. Unless. I'm not charging my phone. It didn't even... It did not increase charge because I didn't charge my phone. Oh. I woke up at 7 a.m. and got into work done today. Wow. I'm going back to sleep. Damn. All I've done this weekend was play Monster Hunter Gacha games and do laundry. Time well spent. Armpit. Uh, oh my god, you missed it. You missed the absolute sniffer of an armpit. One of the nights in the first video we watched, we've decided that his sweat is so acidic that it ate through his gambeson and it left big holes in it. So, like, when he lifted his arm, it was just full armpit shot. Like, full-on fur pit, you know what I mean? Look in recommends and see arming bus. Ugh. I don't want to, though. No means no, Buddha. No means no. Oh, wow, that thing's disgusting. He, he could watch that. Like, he's more than capable of washing that. You don't even need to, like, throw it in the washing machine. Just, just like, you could hand wash it. Oh, um... Okay, uh, unrelated chat, you probably won't know what this is about, but, um, Fubi has very flat titties. Um, and there's a reason 
why I'm saying that. It's because it's true. And there's a certain someone in the chat who I hope understands what I'm doing and uh, and will take advantage of the situation. Ooh, that would be a good soundboard, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I, won't, I won't go. I won't go into any more or any more into that. But I'm just saying. She does. It's true. <laughs> Damn! Just shots fired right there. Why are you taught the small woman? That, why are you taught the small woman that owns a shotgun? V. She can't do anything. She can't do anything to me. Even small double team of Fubi gang. I was never under any impression that there was anything there in the first place. Dang, that's cold. You look forward. <laughs> what the heck, Gamma didn't even post a clip. Have you been like sitting in here this entire time? Why do you do this? Why? You don't say anything. Uh, it does say Fubi watching, it's true. Oh my god, that scared me. Also, it's just pink, and it wasn't bleach. Fubi watching. Wow, that's a good emote. She's the FBO guy. I heard clip what? Oh, you totally missed it! FBI, open up! <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to have an ad in three minutes. I'm going to go get more tea and maybe a snacky, but we'll chit-chat for a little bit before then. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, a warning. If you're planning on going to the bathroom, hold it for three more minutes. I had to go do a thing. Damn. Well, it doesn't matter. Fubia is stalking me anyway. Oh, my God. Can someone do Oh, ammonia. You should use your favorite sound alert right now while Bleach is trying to sleep. I wish I had three burgers. Three burgers sounds amazing. Yeah, it was a weird day today. I got I got like a lot done of stuff though, I guess. So it's not like yeah, I don't know, it was a bad it wasn't a bad day. Ooh, Hawaiian buns. I wanted to make bread though and I didn't. I didn't get to make bread today, which is unfortunate because I really gotta use up my uh my fart farm. Because I have to feed it, so I gotta dump half of it someplace. You know. Gotta feed that fart farm, you know what I'm saying? Although, I wanna find more recipes for the fart farm. Made bread tastes like crap. What did you do wrong? Did you add salt? You have to add salt to it. Did you add salt? I all eyeballed the salt. Was there too much salt? I'm scared to ask what Fart Farm is. Oh boy, I'm gonna tell you what Fart Farm is. It's like rock. Did you let it rise? Did you knead it too much? So much can go wrong with bread. So, so much. Knead? Yeah, like knead the bread. Cause you didn't make sourdough, right? You just made normal bread? Went to pop a cap off a bottle and absolutely just knocked everything off my table. No! That's the worst! I used some beer yeast from my homebrew to make bread. See, now you're not supposed to do that, but for the life of me, I don't know why. I don't know if it, like, is the amount of speed it eats or what. Yeah, did you use flour in your bread? I would hope so, otherwise it'd just be soup. To be honest. Um, so the fart farm. You see and have F in the oven. Oh, that's possible. Um, the fart farm is my sourdough starter. That is now four months old. How many weeks is that? Sixteen weeks. It's sixteen weeks. I'm gonna just I'm gonna tell people that like I'm gonna like how you like talk about how old babies are. I'm going to talk about my fart farm that way. So it's 16 weeks. 20. It's going to be 4 months. 
four months old. Soon it'll be 13 months old. <laughs> In about 10 more months, a little over. Um, yeah, so that's my, that's my sourdough. So I've been making sourdough bread with it. And I made sourdough flatbread, I made sourdough pancakes, I made sourdough, um, banana bread. I got dough and fridge, I got big, but I'm lazy. Okay, ad's gonna start any second now. I can get you guys words if you would like, because I know Commissar will cry without it. And then I'm gonna get more tea, and then do a snack, and then we'll come back and chit-chat some more. The meat I made 11 months and a half ago, and it's strong. Oh, no. Copy link. Yeah, look at him go. He's ready to go. All right. I'll be back in a minute, kids. Give me one moment. Boom.
I'm back. Ha. Huh. Perfect timing. Ha. Ah. Ha. Huh. Got you, nerds. Nerd asses. Ada, Ada. It's been that long already? Dang, you almost got you almost got two years. Thank you, Neon, for the resub. Thank you, thank you. Uh. Brutal. I'm chewing on any drum cracker. Hmm. He was number one. Hello, Caboose. Mm. For the new people coming in, don't worry, you didn't miss the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I forgot. So we'll have to do them a different day. My bad. Do I have Rondo? No, I'm Graham Cracker. I have a bow. What kind of bow? Do you own a digger? What about a bollocks digger? I have a kitchen knife. <coughs> a recurve. You have a recurve bow. Is that legal to have within city limits? Rondo is a pot. Well, let me go look it up. Because now I want to know why I'm being asked if I have a Rondo. Um... So I have a pot like that, but it's got a long handle on one side and one of those little handles on the other side. So does that count? He's British. He has to practice every Sunday. No, nah, if, if it was a British thing, he'd have a long bow. Do, do people hunt with recurve bows? I know people hunt with compound bows and crossbows. It's just a wide style of pot for stews and noodle stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I do have one of those. It just, yeah, it's got like a long handle on one end and like a normal handle on the other. But yeah, I do have one like that. I got it from Goodwill. It's stainless steel and it was $2. And it's my favorite pot. Not a Rondell Dagger. I just use it to shoot targets. Good price, right? I want a Hunnic short bow. All right, hold on, hold on. You guys are just dropping weird words on me today. Hunnic short bow. Oh, hun. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Huns are recurve. Um, I mean, they did use recurve, but. Um, the bow I'm looking at that says Hunnic bow short is definitely not a recurve. It's definitely a short bow. They did point pointy heads on their people. Hey man, if you're gonna get fermented, <laughs> if you're gonna drink horse milk, it better be fermented. That's all I'm saying. That's that, that's all I'm saying. They practice head shaping? Did they really? Horse milk is a thing. Um, okay, yeah, mix. I don't wanna freak freak some um gonna be real with you, Frick. Horses are mammals. Not like the Ming with the foot shaping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Goat milk is... I've never had goat milk. I've had goat cheese, but not like just straight milk of goat. 
I don't know if I could just drink straight. I think I'd, I think I'd freak out. Oh my god, he's googling horse titties. No! Okay, do you guys want to hear some weird horse girl stuff? You guys are going to think it's weird. It's going to be weird. It's not that weird, but you guys are going to think it's weird. So, like, my mother has had a bred horse. So, like, she had a... So, she had... Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, she used to breed miniature horses, but that's a little different. My mom had this horse, this mare, who was only nice when she was pregnant or when she was, like, feeding a foal, right? Like, her hormones were just turned into a super bitch unless she was pregnant. So, my mom would, like, get her pregnant. That sounded weird. My mom would... Um, pay someone else to have a stallion breed her. Okay? So, like... So, so... It's a full-size ho quarter horse, right? And I'm, like... Trying to think of how old I might have been. Like, eight? Maybe nine? Maybe? So, I'm helping my mom clean this horse's hooves. Because you have to do that. And she pregger. She pregger, right? And, uh, she's getting along. So, she's got her udder. Her udder is filling with milk, right? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, I can tell you a story about that, Friggs. Um, you know, so I got the horse's back hoof, and I'm I'm picking the mud out of it, and uh, like her udder is right there, and I'm, and it looks soft, so I just was like, plapping her udder, <laughs> and like you know, like kind of like a, you know, it was. It was soft. It was like kind of, it had like a peach fuzz on it. It was like soft and like a balloon. <laughs> yep. So. No, it was definitely not. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Buddha, but only female horses can get pregnant. So if the horse is pregnant, it doesn't have a dingus. I mean, they have an udder. It's like, it's like a small, yeah, mare. Um, it, you know, it's kind of like a cow, but like smaller. It's in the cow region of an udder. It's an udder. They're not like up in their chest like people. But yeah, it was soft. It was very soft. <laughs> she didn't mind. She, she didn't mind it. <laughs> You can milk a horse, yes. Now it's got milk lines so teats can form along those lines, like extra nipples too. Or it's got extra female equipment around the birth canal. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna adventure into that. I should really just time you up for that, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I thought male horse with booba. No, 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 no. No, male horses have other problems. Also, trying to get, like, a mare bred when you don't have, like, a shit ton of money is, like, an absolute nightmare, I found out. Because normally, if you have, like, lots of money, right, you don't, like, the stallion and the mare don't even come in contact with each other, right? They just, you know, there's a third-party seller in between that handles all of that. But, like, if you don't have money, you have to put the, the stallion with the mare. And boy, does that get violent. Hello, kindness. What a time for you to arrive. I'm so sorry. The Glock salesman. In theory, a male mammal can produce milk from their breasts. <laughs> they have all the equipment. Kindness, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. No, I did not glove up to the shoulder. Plastic bag and some gloves to steal the... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is so hot. I want to drink my tea, but the water's hot. That's what took me so long. I had to wait for the... I forgot to, like, put my kettle on to, like, stay warm. This is a weird... Goose is like, I'm out. I know. It just keeps... It just keeps going downhill. It just keeps going downhill. It's, it's truly an unfortunate conversation. And then I started it. That's the problem, is I was the one that started it. I shouldn't have started it. Because I knew where you guys were going to do that. I knew you guys were going to take it to weird places. I knew it and I said it anyway. 
food, music, lighting. No, nah, like you tie the mare's head like right up to a fence post so that she can't move around too much. And then she beats the shit out of the stallion until she gets too tired and gives up. Essentially. Oh god, that sounds terrible. It's not, a, yeah, it's, I don't, I, it's not an experience I wanted to see multiple times. Like, horses are crazy. It's, it's not. <laughs> I'm a, we I'm a weird place. I am destination, not the journey. <laughs> not as bad as us locking a bull's head into place so we can crush his nuts. Did you guys use the rubber bands? Even with instruction, I don't understand. <laughs> nope. Wait. What did you crush them with? What? I've only ever seen people use the rubber bands. I know, you guys. Like, I never thought my upbringing was weird until I had to recount them to you. You had a bull car? What? Doesn't that bleed? Horses are strange because they're domesticated, but still are goofy. It's true. They are still very goofy. Very goofy animals. I asked my parents for a car, and they said, when pigs fly, so I threw my sister out the window. <laughs> oh, no. Poor sister. Not just crush them balls and let it loose. He'll get used to it. Dang. We just rubber banded them. And then we had a male dog. And, uh, joke, that was a joke. No, I caught that part. <laughs> um, we had, we had a male dog and my parents decided they didn't want to pay to have him fixed. So they rubber banded him. And I remember when they did it, they snapped it on and he stumbled around for a little bit and then threw up. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It was so sad. Threw up in the middle of the yard and then just like fell over on his side and then just like laid there for like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> like, he was fine. It just, I think the shock, I don't think he was ready for it. The cows never reacted like that. <laughs> Rubber banding was common, but the farmer I worked for literally used that nutcracker. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. I don't know, I might look it up. Um, I don't want to see, I just want to see the tool. Oh man, this is going to go, this is going to go to cursed places. <laughs> farm. I just want to see the tool. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Oh, okay. Is that? No, that's for hoof. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out the best way to look this up without. Was it like a pliers? I'm trying to find the best way to look this up without seeing things I don't want to see. That's probably homemade, to be honest. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Yeah, it was like pliers. Oh no, no, I found them. Castration forceps slash pliers. Oh my god, that looks diabolical. That looks like it hurts. I don't know. I feel like their rubber band would be better. I don't know, though. I don't have nuts. Guy with the parts of rise. Bye. Bye, Neko. Thanks for hanging out. Man. Reason why they locked the head in and stayed away from the ear. Clip them and ship them. No, that makes sense. Oh, man, that looks painful. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I don't think I would want to uh want to want to experience that. The fact that you speak Then they make them into um Unix. That's a little bit different than castration. See, I dealt with old school farmers, just how we rolled that part of town. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. 
they're imperial advisors no it makes well then well i watch the apothecary diaries so you know obviously the eunuchs took care of the servant girls and all that good show i haven't i have i need to i haven't watched all of it i need to watch more of it thing because they're cruel they would make them keep the necklace around their neck that's horrific <laughs> jeez here are three fun facts for you. One, the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes between Britain and Zanzibar. Bananas are berries. Strawberries aren't. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still edible. Who would eat that, though? How do you feel about Free Run Season 2? I haven't finished Season 1, so... Because I'm really bad at finishing anime. I'm excited, though. I will, like, I'll let, it, I'll let a whole bunch of it come out and then I'll watch it. Last Chinese Emperor Puyi had eunuchs work for him, and that was the 1910s. Dang. I remember working for a Halloween thing, and one of the actors put bull testicles in someone's hoodie. You know what the heck? No, gross. Puyi ended up working as a street sweeper after he was deposed. Oh no. Man, I got invited to go to a haunted house. I don't think I'm going to go. I think I'm too much of a wiener. I, I, like, I don't think I'm going to go to it. But that was the one where you could, like, pay more money and then they could touch you. I think they were all EMTs and rolling ass off. You don't have someone to hold hands with. I mean, I just, like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know, it's, it's, I get used to like being scared, but now like, cause a lot of it's like body horror stuff nowadays with the less scary stuff. And I'm not really into body horror. I like, like creepy, spooky stuff. Like I'd rather it be creepy and like lots of tension and then have like spooky things happening that are still scary, mind you. But like, you know, I don't want just like guts and stuff being thrown around. My sister found a corn maze about an hour away. Is it like a haunted corn maze? Because that sounds cool. Like Jeepers Creepers. I acting my legs were cut off and we're cutting beef parts. It was great. Oh my god. Yeah, see, like, I don't know. Like, the gory stuff just doesn't do it for me. Like, I don't find it that scary. I just find it kind of gross and, like, not in a fun way. That was probably the reason, like, I couldn't really watch a lot of the boys, because a lot of it was just, like, shock factor body horror stuff. And I was like, ugh, you know. Like, I'd have to, like, skip ahead and skip this and skip that. The what? The boys? No, the boys. Yeah, they have actors that chase you around while you have to find checkpoints and stamp your card to win prize. That sounds amazing! There's a lot of body horror in the boys that I was not a fan of. I tried to watch as much as I could, but I had to skip around a lot to the point where, like, I don't really understand exactly what's happening. Oh, I believe the graphic novel's a lot worse. They don't have to pay for your effects or anything. <laughs> I just gotta draw it. Oh, my ear's itchy. Yeah, I don't know. There's just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm just like getting older or something, but like my limit, my limit has been reached on that kind of stuff. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, there we are. And it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. It's just like, I'm just tired of it. But like nowadays it feels like that's the only shock factor. It's like, it's either that or like, um, like, I'm trying to think of the other, like, stuff. Like, it's, like, sex. It's, like, either body horror or sex. Which, I guess, to some people would also be body horror. But I'm, like... But it's, like, not just sex. It's gotta be, like, gross sex. You know, like, weird gross sex. Because everyone's been desensitized to normal sex. So, it's just, like... I mean, look at the site, right? <laughs> I don't like it either. Like, why does it have to be so kinky and weird? Right. Like, there are so many weird sex scenes in the boys. 
And I know that was like source material and stuff, but I'm just like, you know, there was a reason why it came out now instead of like in the 80s. You know, I've never... Do you want to hear something funny about Supernatural? I tried to watch one episode of Supernatural and I have no idea what season it was in or what, but um, it was a plumber and he was cleaning out a garbage disposal and the ghost turned on... I think I've told this story before. The ghost turned on the garbage disposal and and it, he like it like chewed up his hand and I, I got like terrified of garbage disposals for a long time after that. So I I I haven't watched Supernatural since. I turned that off and I I haven't I haven't watched it since. I'm still scared of them. They're pretty scary, man. Like I I I well, I would rather stick like a metal spoon in a garbage disposal than my hand. You think they're stupid? Why? I have a garbage disposal. Like, I have one. Ew, why? Yeah, dude, no, I can do it. I was too traumatized. Just scrap. Oh, snap. I didn't miss one. Miss one what? The scrape stuff in the trash. No, it gets stinky. I don't have a dog to eat all of my leftover food I left on my plate. Didn't take out your trash. I'm not taking out a half empty bag, dude. That bag gets packed before I throw it away, man. It gets full. I shove it down two or three times before I take that bag out, dude. A stream. Most streams usually occur just before my lunch. Yeah, I, I've been... Well, I still do, like, the nighttime streams every now and then, but... I have a garbage can with a lid. Yeah, I stuffed that trash can. It's not, like, a stink-proof lid. It's just a lid. I don't understand the purpose of the garbage disposal. It seems like a biohazard and a great way to fill your pipes with things that aren't water. Why would it be a bio... I don't... Like, so, like, when I read my garbage disposal, I put the food in it, while I have water running, and then grind it up while I have water running, and then I let the water run a little bit longer after I'm done grinding up the food to, like, rinse off the blades, and then I turn it, you know, I turn it off, and then I go on with my day. Yeah, yeah, I get the lemon- well, so what someone told me to do once is, like, if you have a lemon peel, or like a lemon, you can freeze the lemon and then put that in the garbage disposal and grind that up and that'll clean your blades really good. Yeah, or baking soda and vinegar. Like, you have to take care of it. You can't just dump food down it. How does food not get caught anywhere in it? I mean, like, it's, it's meant to funnel food out. So as long as you have enough, like, lubrication in the way of water, it'll funnel it out. I'm not sticking my hand in there. It's not happening. I'll freeze 12 lemons first before I stick my hand in there. People say the ice also sharpens the blades, but I got no idea what the nonsense Yeah, that one doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know why ice would sharpen blades. I think we'd do the opposite, to be honest with you. <laughs> if it's going to do anything. But... I don't know, I like having my garbage disposal. Just seems like a bunch more points of failure to add stuff so that make it stinky to boot. I, I've i never had... I've never had a garbage disposal stink when it's been, like, emptied properly. Like, sometimes I get lazy and, like, I'll dump food in it and then I just won't grind it up every now and then. And then the next morning it'll stink, so then I'll have to wash it and, like, use the... the, the um, baking soda and vinegar and stuff and like get the smell out but like if you run it like normal person and like make sure you rinse it off then it, it's never stunk Arcus is the rich one they're fun but noisy at times I always forget the switch in the disposal and which is the light 
I have a Radco mower that says you can use limestone to sharpen the blades, which is weird. That is weird. Gamma's poor as fuck. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. He does grill steaks outside, though, so I don't know. I don't know. If he doesn't have the intrusive thoughts for the garbage, I don't. Supernatural took those out of me. Now, this isn't a riding mower. This is a row mower with a hydraulic... A row mower? What does that mean? It was a row mower. Right of way? I don't know. What is that? What? Looking it up now. Oh! Oh! Okay. That's big ass tractor mower, guys. It's big. A big boy. I haven't made steaks in a while. Last time I tried, I had to open all my windows in the dead of winter to get smoke. Do you don't, don't you have like a vent? Like a ventilation? I don't have a vent. Which I found out there's ductless, what do they call it? Ductless kitchen vents? What is it called? A ductless ventless ductless kitchen hood yeah i should get one of those and put it over my my stove i didn't know i didn't know until recently you could get a ductless hood so you didn't have to like stick it in the you don't have to like cut through the house Now, like, I could technically have, like, where my stove is, I could totally have, like, a duct that goes outside the house. Because the stove is against an outer wall. But, like, I don't, I can't do that myself. I'm not cutting through the, my entire house. I can't do it. That's terrifying. I'm not doing it. No way, Jose. Lamau, ductless, what the fuck? Yeah, that's not how that works. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. Big duck. Yeah, but it's like duck, but with less duck. That's why it's ductless. We need we need a reduction in ducks. It's like a fume hood that just vents into the... Well, it's supposed to, like, filter it. So, like, it sucks in the air, and then it passes through, like, three or four filters, and then, and then spits out clean air. But I have an air purifier, so sometimes I drag that into the kitchen. Place is a mess. Oh my god. The filtered air still contains moisture. I mean, I normally... Yeah. Do I cook with things? I don't know. That's, but yeah, so I don't know. But I, I can't install, like, a duct one into my house by myself. I ain't about that life. I mean, I feel like a ductless one would be better than nothing. Right? I don't. I have one small... So, I have two giant windows. I have... Okay, so I have three windows in my kitchen. I have two big ones and one small one. But the two big ones, which are on either side of the stove, do not open. And then the small one is, like, on the other side of the room. That one opens, but it's small and it's on the other side of the room. Real debate is electric versus gas stove. Gas stove all day, every day. I don't have a gas stove. I have an electric stove. I wish I had. I wish I had a gas stove. I just closed chat. Where did you guys go? Chat, come back. Chat, there you are. Oh, that was scary. I lost you for a second. It's basically only good for being a light fixture and being a metal thing over the stove so you're not steaming your cabinets. The fan part does nothing. I would rather clean a gas stove and have a gas stove than 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 have an electric stove. That's not even like it's not even a it's not even a question. It's not even remotely a question. Gas is so much better. I I I love my new stove that I have, but 
I would quickly throw it out the window if someone randomly gave me an equal quality leveled gas stove and then also paid to have the gas hook up. That gas stove still works when the power goes out and that's why I love it. Yeah! You can make good tortillas on it too. And you can and you could you could blister the skin off of peppers. Do you have a half electric stove? Oh, half of it doesn't work, I see. Heat is heat. No, Beaver, you don't understand, Beaver. You don't understand. I prefer gas, but electric's all I got. Yeah, same. Mine also isn't level. I have electric one and the butane stove for when I need flame. There's been too many houses around my area that have been leveled from propane and gas leaks. Really? I had a gas... I, I've only had one gas stove in my life. And I really like that apartment. And I wish I could have stayed there. Because I had a gas stove. The kitchen was small, though. There was a gas stove, but the kitchen was small. Which is unfortunate. So that butane burner used to cook steaks, but I've got nowhere to use it now. Stand in the road with it. Like, on the sidewalk. Oh, cook steaks on the sidewalk, dude. Can you do that? Why not? If you want to find a gas leak, light a match. My I have gas in my house, like my dryer is gas and my water heater is gas and my furnace is gas. I just don't have gas where the stove goes, so I'd have to run a line, which means I'd have to pay someone to run a line, and then I'd have to buy a gas stove. So... I have to keep paying people to install stuff. Isn't that annoying? I can't install stuff by myself. It's like I got a fridge with an ice maker. I was all excited about the ice maker. And then I realized you have to have a freaking water line to go to the fridge to have it make ice. I mean, I could, but the fire department is a quarter mile down the road away, and the police station. Well, that just see that then that just make sure you have enough stakes for them. Yeah, so I didn't think about that when I purchased it. Yeah, no, I know, no, I know, guys, I understand, I understand my folly and my thoughts. I get it. I was just so excited to have an ice maker. It never crossed my mind that I didn't have a hookup for the ice maker. So I still don't have a hookup for the ice maker. Magic water fridge. I know. Well, it was like the day before it came. I was like, wait a minute. How does the ice get made in the fridge? And it's 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 the water. <laughs> I wish I could use my oven, but last person who lived here used a silicone lid and shit happened. Oh, no. Well, I have an ice maker, but I can't use it. That's, that's my ritzy life. It's like having a cyber truck, but taking it through a car wash. You know what I mean? It's, it's the exact same thing. Basically, all I've been doing is making ice like the normal way and then putting it in the ice dispenser so I can still use the ice dispenser, which has been convenient, I will say. So if I piss on the cyber truck, I could disable it. Yeah, it's not waterproof. I don't know what happens when it rains. Because apparently there's supposed to be like plugs in all these corners of the body and then Elon was like, don't do that because that costs money and we'll cut costs this way. And, uh, they were like, but Elon, and he's like, no buts, I'm a genius. And now people can't, can't take their Cybertruck through a car wash. I saw a Cybertruck at the run fair. That was really weird. That was a really weird, like, dissonance of seeing a Cybertruck chilling at a run fair. Wait, the police department has a Cybertruck? Why? Could top it off every once in a while. I think it would just be easier at that point and cheaper to just run a line. Because the, the hard part is it has to go under my floor. To run it from the sink to the fridge. Because unfortunately the fridge isn't right next to the sink. That would be way too easy. 
But I think it would be easier to just run the line, to be honest with you. I've already seen one second edition was too heavy to tow out. No, are they heavy? What if you get banned on Twitter? They shut down your Cybertruck's battery? Probably. I saw some guy couldn't drive his because it needed to do a schedule update, but like he couldn't get internet to do the update, so he just couldn't drive it until it got internet. Which is funny because like, why is my eye doing that? Which is funny because like, how are, if it doesn't have internet where you are, how are you supposed to get it to someplace with internet? He had to like hotspot his phone and download the update with his mobile data. Yes, one of the cities in Minnesota I heard is getting one for practice. Like, good luck if it gets frosty, it's bunghole in the winter. Jeez. It's Elon Musk trying to hack you. Right? Right? It's true. Hacker man. Hacker man. It's a 10,000 metal brick with that. My, um, I have a family member who has a Tesla and they swear by the Tesla and they're like, you should get a Tesla. And I oh, this person, like, I was talking about my little, uh, my little Buick. I was like, yeah, I got a new car. And like, I got you know, a little Buick. And like, you know, I was pretty, pretty happy that I had a pretty massive down payment and now I don't have to pay as much on loans. So she's like, you should have gotten a Tesla. And I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, you are in a completely different tax bracket than me. You're in a significantly higher tax. I can't just get a Tesla. Even if I wanted a Tesla, I don't. I could not just uh, get a Tesla. You lunatic. Electric cars scare me because when I'm on a walk, it sounds like a missile. Bro, they're so quiet. I almost got hit in a parking lot by one because obviously they weren't paying attention. And then I never heard it coming. So like the last second I stepped out of the way because I just saw it like in my peripheral vision. But I never heard it coming. Best Tesla has a 300 mile range. Meanwhile, my car from 2010 has average 430 mile range. Battery doesn't last six years. Well, that's the other thing is the batteries, like, you gotta, the batteries are really expensive to replace. It swerved towards me. Oh my God. Chicken brain doesn't have a spatial. Have you stood next to an electric car? They are incredibly quiet. And it was like, I was walking through a parking lot and it was coming up behind me. And normally you like hear a car coming. But that time I did not. Good Mary's still working on object permanence. It's true. That's actually true. It's rough sometimes. They're also very annoying when backing up. They make this noise like grinding glass to uh, grinding glass to a train signal to alert people they're backing up. Man. I wonder if she'll scream plenty loud. I don't want a, uh, I don't want a vandalism charge. I'm just saying. Oh, I forgot to take the whole alive tag out of my stream. Oopsies. I'm not whole alive. <laughs> ha ha. Ha. Oops. Yeah. A vandalism? I don't think keying a car will take it off the road though, right? I mean, it would just, it would just, it would still be on the road. It would just have a big gouge in it. They have cameras on all sides too. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Have you ever seen that video? It's like of a ring doorbell. It's so funny. And this guy, I don't know, he was going to break into the house or something. So he walks up. With like a can of black spray paint. And his whole plan was to spray paint over the ring camera. And then like obviously he couldn't see, right? Because he spray painted over it. So he, he kind of like like sticks his head around the corner. And he's like checking. And like he doesn't have his face covered. <laughs> so he steps out. And like you can clearly see his face. And, and then he sprays it with the black spray paint. And then, like, he drops the can and he starts messing around. I, I think he was a porch pirate, to be honest with you. He bends over to pick something up. And, like, all the paint had, like, run off the camera. It didn't stick to the glass. So, like, you could very, like, visibly, clearly see him. 
<laughs> and he like looks at the camera and he's like, oh. And he like just runs away. <laughs> it was so funny. You'll hear my car long before you see it. My neighbors absolutely hate me for it. I mean, at least you're not like surprised running people over, right? Right? On that note, I am EP, so I think we should raid someone. Um, I think we, who we are going to raid is um, a friend of the stream. Um, we will be raiding Hollow Point, so I'm just, I don't know if he's... Oh, Commissar's already in there! We got a couple people. Alright. We're gonna raid. Yeah, he just, like, this is his first stream. Don't, Commissar, don't tell him. I'll kill you. I'm gonna get banned for that. Don't, don't tell him. I want, I want, I want his surprise. Alright, thank you guys so much for coming. You all have a wonderful night. I am so sorry that I forgot about the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but we'll do the Yu-Gi-Oh cards network next week. Next week. Next week. So thank you guys so much for coming. I will see you on Tuesday and have a good